there's an idea around American porn actresses that they make a ton of money. And some of them certainly do, especially now with only fans. Um, is it, is the same, is it the same in Japan? Like, is the pay pretty good? I would say, oh, actually we have a new law where it makes the pay. It recently passed this month makes the pay. I'm going to talk before that law, just my own experience. Okay. I would say it's not worth it. You will make a lot of money, but, um, it's only for a set amount of time. And eventually if you don't get popular, you won't like it in the American industry too. Mm -hmm. Um, you're not going to make any money or get any offers. And after that, what are you going to do? Because you've essentially locked yourself out of any other career choice. Um, but as far as per film, we'll make anywhere from like 2000 to on the high end, maybe 4,000. But in Japan, we have these things called agencies and the agencies will take anywhere from 50 to 70% uh, a cut. And then you have to pay taxes twice because there's two kinds of taxes in uh, in Japan. There's like an income tax that the company takes on top of that. And then some kind of like uh, country tax afterwards that you pay on your own afterwards. And a lot of girls, they don't pay that country tax later, um, essentially like evading taxes. But I pay both. So it was a really big cut for wait, something that wait. was working. Yeah. Agencies <laughs> take 50 to 70%? Yes. So if you get $1,000 for a film, you walk away with just 500 smackaroos. Yep. How is that? How? And you cannot just survive is? in the industry. Yeah. I, you cannot join the industry without an agency. I, I'm freelance now, but only because I made a huge name for myself and was able to leave that and keep my my name, June Lovejoy. The agency doesn't get to keep that. That's my name. And I was able to move forward in the industry. But you cannot just debut by yourself. You have to go through an agency. Like companies will not touch you. When I say companies, I mean studios. Interesting. I mean, it's it's not exactly the same here. It's definitely easier to start with an agency. Um, but if a beautiful girl, I mean, you know, if a beautiful girl was to write to me and say, you know, when, especially when I had my own studio, I mostly just shoot for like browsers and twisties now, but I would mm -hmm. actually probably refer her to them. If she sent me an email and was like, I want to be porn and she was gorgeous. I would like totally book her on my own. I wouldn't need an agency okay. or like a studio might sign her because nice. So you can definitely, but it, it is easier to start with an agency just also okay. too, because like, I mean, for a multitude of boring reasons, but you could definitely start on your own it would just be harder but you're saying like studios will not hire you if you don't they will not touch you at all i i, I would honestly say 99.9 percent .9 impossible to start without an agency because agencies are really afraid of um being flaked on like say they have like the studio they get all the actors the makeup artists they yeah. poured all of this money and the girl just doesn't show up well, if, an, if she's through an agency, they can demand the money from the agency. And it's easier to demand thousands of dollars from a big company than from one girl who just ghosted you. Oh, so, interesting. Okay. So the agency actually pays the, um, the losses because that doesn't yes. happen here. Okay. Yeah. That doesn't happen here. If a girl doesn't show up to set, the agent's like, Oh, well, oh, like, my God. What's sorry. The <laughs> yeah. You know, and, and there'll be, there was only one agency that would actually pay like some kind of kill fee. Okay. Um, but it was only like a couple hundred dollars, but otherwise they'll be like, Oh, well, sorry. Well, here's who else I have, but yeah, they 100% oh, wow. do not cover your losses. Absolutely not. And they will That's represent a girl who will flake continually. And there's quite a few girls in the industry with this <gasps> reputation. And if you work in porn, I don't need to say their names. You know who I'm talking about. There are some girls who like, you book them and you're like, will she show up? I don't know. Like, I I it's a crapshoot. Oh my God. Yeah. You get yeeted out of the industry so fast if you pull that here in Japan, no matter how beautiful, talented, how many fans you have. No, because it's expensive. Yeah, it's, it's, I know. It's, it's, I, you of all people know. I, I, I wish know. that I wish that we were a little bit stricter about it because there are some girls that are just like, but they're popular and they're beautiful, but they like may or may not show up. Like wow. they are well known to be flaky and fucking studios will still book them and wait around and hope they show up. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. And I, they'll still get work. 
They will I not get blacklisted. It's crazy. Being here, because I feel like I'm learning, because I I don't know anything about the American industry, except from what I hear, maybe from like Melody Marks, or maybe a little bit other like porn star friends. Uh, I That is insane. Yeah. So that's why agency, or sorry, studios will not want to touch just some random, beautiful, no matter how beautiful she is. They'll mm-hmm. say, oh, we can introduce you to a nice agency and then go through them. Um, mm-hmm. what it, there are good things about being in an agency. You don't ever really know what, actually that's a lie. You still have to show your private information to the studio. When you sign a contract, I was going to think maybe there's a level of anonymity, but no, there's no reason like agencies are just dumb. Honestly, I think they're the worst mm-hmm. part of the industry in Japan. Yeah, they can be problematic here too. And then you get some shady agents that it's better now. I feel like okay. it's, honestly, ever since only fans came along too, yeah. and girls have a lot more personal, like yeah. agency, they, um, the agents are a little bit better. Um, there's a couple in, of really good too. ones, but there's a couple of ones that are like, like, even like I hesitate booking girls from that agency. Cause I'm just like, oh. eh, you know, and like, I don't know. It's, but, um, I still think 50 to 70% is, is cuckoo. Um, but, uh, if they're paying the full, like that's true for the day, Mm -hmm. like that makes more sense to me because that definitely does not happen here. 